Okay, let's talk Black Friday deals, at least from Google, which is my most preferred, not most preferred, but my uh, one of the smart home devices I've been playing around with uh, in one section of the house anyway. So uh, I got a pair of, um, these are the new Nest Minis, well, or Google Home Minis. So. The rebranded Google Home Minis are now called Nest Minis uh, version 2, I think, Gen 2. So uh, the the funny thing is that these devices are, that's actually the size of how they are-ish. And I don't see why we have this big portion here. I think that's a waste in packaging. But hey, it's, ni it's a nice product. You can drop it. I think it's solid. So um, that, that aside, um, I like it. I don't think this needs any unboxing. Uh, there's dozens and dozens of these and I have a dozen. Do I have a dozen? I might have a dozen of these lying around or actually or installed uh, in places. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is the upgrade to the, uh, the Google Nest Hub. Uh, one of which I have on testing mode for a couple of months now. But we're gonna test its bigger brother, uh, given my experience on that particular unit. And so this will be a, I think I might have done a unboxing for that unit, uh, but it was never prepped for a YouTube upload. It was just like snapshots. So for this one though, I will be on record, uh, at least for my, even for myself and I guess for you, cause you're watching. Uh, on this Google Nest uh, Hub Max. So here it is. It says big help uh, because <laughs> it is the bigger version. So is the, the other one is like mini help and the uh, the smaller one is uh, little help. I, <laughs> I don't know. Just play on words there. Uh, and this is the how it will look like. So in terms of uh, the it's, well, I was gonna say the other item it replaces, it doesn't replace that, not for me. It's got its uses. Uh, and the reason being that for, oh boy, hmm, shipping. So um, I didn't get this directly from Google, I got this from my big box store. Um, just because in terms of uh, pricing and timing, it was the same, so it didn't make any difference. So wherever or however you get your smart devices it'll be smart a smart decision to get it however you can and or need the quickest and I needed it the quickest because I wanted to have this ready for uh, all the stuff I, I mean la dilly dally la tech right so uh, of course I do still have a budget but I had enough for this and I think it was worth it this was also on discount um, I'm not saying it wasn't worth it, but uh, this thing, these smart things can get pretty expensive at some point. Uh, add on one piece and then add on more and it, it gets um, unwieldy uh, in, in terms of trying to keep your budget down, right? Oh, it's so fun. Right. So uh, as you can see, the way it's being opened is from the side, also um, lift up and it is nicely slotted and and uh, tight in there so vacuum and so and you will immediately this is what you're going to be met with this uh right away because that's all this whole thing is about it is this uh, and then i will lift it out for you or i should try to get it to tumble out there got it to tumble out um, and this is um, this is essentially just literally a bigger version of the nest hub this max and in terms of size I would say this is a 10 inch let me for perspective let me grab um, let me grab my my tablet here Unplug that. So this is my old, my old Galaxy uh, Tab, uh, ten point twenty five, ten point five, 
and I'll just uh, superimpose that uh, on this thing so like that so they are essentially it is I mean uh, at first I thought it wasn't but it is it essentially is a it, literally, it really is a a 10 inch uh, plus less the uh, border size there now I have to figure out how to put back my tablet um, but yes so let's um, get rid of this glare here by removing um, oh of course it says start here so all right I will start here ah. right so there it is that is the device and it's got the google branding i got there it only comes in two versions it's the uh, the chalk white and or and black so uh because i like uh, uh parts of the kitchen this is where i'm going to put it by the way the kitchen i am going to use this um neutral color because it matches the countertops so i went with with uh chalk right so what else do we have as part of this box here um, underneath the box, we will pull pull this tab out. Love those smart hidden compartment packaging. It's really, really I, I really like that. So I'll turn it around. As I open this from there, you have the charging cable. We'll talk about that in a bit. You've got the manual, and what else do we have? In? I don't think we have anything else. I don't even think you can, like, oh, let's, let's try to take out as much box as we can if there's anything hidden. No, there's nothing hidden. That, that's it. That That is it. And I think we can still pull out this, this tab. Nope, that, that's it. That is just, uh, no, and I'm trying. I'm just hoping that there's something else in here, but there isn't. There, there really isn't anything else. Jams. That's that's it. You wish there was. Um, I want there to be. I do. So let's. Um, I'll put that back. No need to read that. Um, there all doesn't. Um, it's it's basically the getting started guide and everything else I've read up about it already in terms of the manual. So this is just a literally an unboxing. In terms of this um, this charging cable here, it is the same design. I didn't even notice that they still use this design here. Um, I would have um, personally I, I I would have preferred a USB C. Uh, now that this now that that thing has been released for a while. Um, so this thing, on hindsight, this kind of looks like the uh, the end of the charging cable for this clothing apparel that I'm wearing, which is a uh, a heated uh, uh, windbreaker jacket. So yeah, uh, the only difference between the I guess the uh, the smaller or little brother littler brother version is that this this charging puck is square. Whereas, as I recall, the, uh, the smaller version is circular, very similar to um, the uh, these, uh, the same, um, uh, what do you call that, charger as the Nest Minis and many other uh, previous Google um, smart devices. So I'm going to close this up and I will put this back. And um, right, so that is our quick unboxing and quick look at the components and pieces of this. Hold on one second. Of the uh, Google Home Max. I'm gonna put this box here. So where, where did I throw that thing? Where did I throw it? I, I like to keep my hair. Mm. Yeah, I took it off. I'm gonna put it back, uh, just in case we need it for whatever reason. I like to keep my things. No, no, I. Uh, and, and or we need to. Or we're unhappy with it. So I. 
I'm pretty certain we are happy. I will be happy with uh, how it is being used. If it functions almost uh, similar to the Nest Hub, so the main difference between the Nest Hub is basically the uh, this bigger size screen here, this bigger size screen, and this camera, this camera there, of which uh, your solution is to, if, if you're concerned in terms of privacy, you can turn the camera off. But the downside is when you turn that off, it turns the camera off, it also turns off the microphone. I want a way to uh, turn one item and not the other off and or on uh, in my preference. Maybe there's a way to do this, do this via software, right? Because um, in the end, this is just a, this is the hardware and the hardware has a software setting. So if the hardware, if the software will follow the hardware, that really depends if the software reads the hardware setting. So to you, if you think that doing this to many devices that are actually software controlled actually does that physically, no, that's not true. Uh, if, if the software reads the hardware setting uh, and then converts it, then no. You, if you really want to block something, for example, your laptop camera or your microphone, unplug the microphone, and sometimes it is impossible. Um, and then for this one, if you really want to keep your privacy or are you concerned uh, for whatever use case it is, like you're having a meeting and you're concerned, then I would, I think a good uh, solution would be uh, given this is to get perhaps uh, some tape or have those uh, laptop covers. I think it will work. Uh, just make sure not to cover the other pieces of this sensor here. So uh, I, I guess these two small holes here are actually mics and this is the sensor and this is the actual camera. So um, I guess just cover the camera and not the sensor because the sensor does uh, measure ambient light and all that stuff and translates that to the rest of your screen. But if you're really paranoid, then just uh, cover the mouth, I guess. But the point is to cover the camera in some shape, way, or form. Um, and, and that should uh, essentially trans convert this into a huge or a bigger uh, Nest Hub, uh, but not being a Max. Right, okay, right. So yeah, the, just some um, quick suggestions on how, how to use this and uh, stay protected online if you're concerned about the where you want to put this uh, if it's not in your kitchen or maybe you're, if you don't want it to be uh, in, your, in your living room or uh, bedroom or, or wherever you put this thing. So if those are concerns, then those are some of the solutions I would suggest. Uh, but in our use case, we're putting this in the kitchen. The TV is dying, so I thought maybe this is a good um, midterm solution because most of what we do is news anyway. Uh, and then you can definitely link your um, smart subscriptions, your online subscriptions here, um, or if you're if uh, Roku or YouTube, or if you're sticking to this that particular. Um, ecosystem then uh, they're all obviously it's a Google device then all the YouTube oh sorry Google services should be working uh, by default uh, on this one and if you've got it also allows you to display for example uh, control your lights and display for example um, the output of your nest doorbell devices and your nest camera devices if you have that set up in your account and in your smart assistant then you will be able to display them here uh, just by telling Google Assistant uh, to do so. So yeah, I, I find that one of those, uh, the things that uh, we, we've done uh, with one of the doorbells uh, and it works. Uh, in fact, you can, uh, if, if memory serves me right, um, you can actually even stream that. So what happens is because this one can be linked to your TV, which is a smart device, you can, instead of displaying the results of your outside camera on your Nest Hub, but you can actually project it onto your TV, just like you can project other things on your device via uh, Chromecast style. So yeah, that's uh, 
that's all doable right now. If you have, um, I, I don't think the Nest Hub is required, but that's just been one of those things that I've, I've, I haven't actually tried it without having a Nest Hub to display directly on the TV. In theory, it should work. Uh, as long as your TV has um, Chromecast built into it or separately, I think that should work too, but that hasn't been my use case, so I've never tried it. Um, so I'm telling you about the ways that I have tried it, right? Okay, so those are my uh, quick impressions of the Google Home Max uh, using Chromecast in your setup and a quick comparison to, uh, granted, I didn't bring it up here to the room, the uh, smaller brother, the Google Nest Hub, which we are comparing this against. Uh, I will uh, come up with perhaps a... Uh, couple of months review of that smaller product side by side with this one uh, after a couple maybe a few weeks of using this as a comparison and, and and update you guys on the experience right so again if you like this quick review very honest uh, unsponsored uh, and just right there um, go ahead and click subscribe and or comments and feedbacks or ask questions go ahead and i will see you in the next video